The federal government says it hopes to receive up to 70 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine this year through the African Union amid concerns about delayed deliveries of AstraZeneca shots. Nigeria, which has recorded 2,049 deaths from COVID-19 and began vaccinations this month, plans to inoculate 40% of its people this year and another 30% in 2022. Executive Director and National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Felsa Shoaib, says the country expects to initially receive 30 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in July. Some of the allocations that we're supposed to get uh, for uh, the AstraZeneca will be replaced uh, by the Johnson & Johnson. That is still yet to be finalized, so in the end uh, it does appear uh, uh, like we're going to be getting um, uh, more doses of uh, Johnson & Johnson uh, compared uh, to the AstraZeneca and that and those numbers uh, could reach close to 70 million uh, doses of uh, the Johnson & Johnson uh, eventually. Uh, right now uh, we do not s uh, have any evidence uh, that we should change uh, that uh, uh, policy um, and we must uh, also recognize that uh, uh, different uh, individuals uh, handle uh, medicines, biologicals uh, quite differently. Uh, there's also uh, the uh, is issue that uh, uh, there's a background uh, uh, incidence of uh, blood clotting that may be different, uh, you know, among different populations, right? For us as Africans, as Nigerians, we're yet to see any cause and effect when it comes to AstraZeneca and uh, blood clotting. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.